Welcome to this video. In this video we're going to talk about linear systems of equations and word problems that involve linear systems. My Algebra 1 students will recognize the problems that we will go through. We will work four examples and those are coming out of your uh, extra work packet for the week. So if you're utilizing your resources and utilizing these extra tutorial videos then you'll have four of the problems already done for you. Um, really when you're working with linear systems word problems three simple steps, three basic steps will allow you to solve these problems. And step one will be to, uh, right here, step one, identify your key information and assign variables. Step two here, write your two equations. And finally, step three will be to choose the appropriate solution method and solve. And really, um, those three basic steps will allow you to solve any of these. In most cases, and, and certainly with the examples we will work today, your equations will often end up in standard form. So uh, choosing the appropriate solution method is pretty simple since we have uh, a graphing calculator available and that will be to uh, set those equations up in standard form, utilize the matrix method in our graphing calculator to solve them. Of course you can use substitution or elimination and solve them algebraically by hand, but with the technology available, today we're just going to use our graphing calculator uh, to solve those. Of course if we had them in y equals the appropriate method would be to put them in y equals in the calculator, graph them and find the intersection of the two lines and uh, you can watch uh, my videos on those two methods, the matrix method and the solving by graphing uh, here on YouTube if uh, you're not sure how to do that. Okay and I will put links to those two videos in the description of this video. Alright, so let's start with this first example. Again, we'll work four examples here today. Okay, this says, Dylan's school is selling tickets to the annual talent show. On the first day of ticket sales, the school sold two senior citizen tickets and 11 child tickets for a total of $64.40. The school took in $144.90 on the second day by selling 13 senior citizen tickets and 12 child tickets. Find the price of a senior citizen ticket and the price of a child ticket. So like most word problems, we want to first go to the very end of the problem and identify what they are actually asking us to do. Okay, and it's right here in this last sentence, so this is important. The price of a senior citizen ticket and the price of a child ticket. So that's important information. Also, we see that we sold two senior citizen tickets and 11 child tickets this day for a total of 6440 So that all goes together. We'll use another color here for our next sentence because this will go together to make a, an equation that we'll see in a second. $144.90 by selling 13 senior citizen tickets and 12 child tickets. All right, so there's our important information highlighted. So step one is uh, almost done. So let's write our, uh, assign our variables here. That's the next part of step one. So we have uh, two things that we're talking about and in these linear system problems at least in Algebra 1 and Algebra 2 you're going to generally have uh, two unknowns uh, which means two variables uh, that you will be finding so you'll have two equations two variables you'll utilize systems of equations to solve them so in this case the two things that we're talking about and that's what we want to really pick out and we did that first price of a senior citizen ticket price of a child ticket so we need to assign variables there we can assign any variable we want and we can decide how what we what variable we assign to what part of the problem so in this case we'll just use we'll let x equal I'll abbreviate here a senior citizen ticket and we'll let y equal a child ticket all right so now step one is complete here We've identified the key information and we've assigned our variables right here. Now we need to write our two equations. Okay, and we're going to pull those two equations out of the words up here. And uh, the first equation will come from this sentence right here, underlined in blue, this key information. So two senior citizen tickets, so that's two. And we assign senior citizen tickets to be x, 2x, plus 11 child tickets so child tickets we assigned a y to that so 11 child tickets uh, was a total of $64.40 so 
So there's our first equation done already. All right, now let's write our second equation. So the school took in $144 on the second day by selling 13 senior citizen tickets and 12 child tickets. So our total here is $144.90. We can put that over here. Remember when we're using matrix, we want to make sure and stack our constants, our y values, and our x values. So let's do that. So next we'll write our senior citizen tickets here. That's 13 and senior citizen tickets again is x plus our child tickets, 12 of those, and we assigned y to be child tickets. So there we go. Here's our two equations. So step two is now done. Now it says step three, choose the appropriate solution method and solve. We've already decided and we talked about we're going to use matrix today. So let's draw what our matrix should be in our calculator. All right, we're going to have in this switch that color back in this first equation the first row of our matrix we will use a two by three matrix always in this case we have two rows and we have three columns so it's a two by three matrix we have two eleven and sixty four forty All right this next row of our matrix will be a thirteen we have a plus twelve and we have a positive one forty four ninety all right, so that makes it pretty simple. Let's bring our calculator in here. And second matrix, again, if you are unsure on how to use matrix, you can go to that video that I've done on using the matrix method, and uh, it's got several examples and how, how we do this. So we'll set this up. We've already got a two by three set up, so now we just enter two, 11, and 64, 40 on this first row. Two, 11, 64, 40. Uh, next row will be 13. That's coming from right here. Next will be a 12. Next will be a 144.90. 144.90. All right, now we've got that done. Second mode. That gets us back to our home screen. Everything goes through matrix. So second matrix over to math. We want option B. The shortcut for that is alpha apps. That's our, our ref, the reduced row echelon form second matrix again and so we've done edit we've done math now we're doing names so we want to tell the calculator we want to do that to matrix a which we've created hit enter and there's our solution so let's drag this over and list our answers okay so our calculator gave us this printout it's 1x is equal to 6.9 so that means a sen our x is senior citizen ticket so a senior citizen ticket is equal to six dollars and ninety cents okay we're talking money here uh, child ticket child ticket will be equal to four dollars and sixty cents all right, before we move on, let's uh, check this solution. We'll just check it on the first one. We won't do it on the remaining three examples, but on this one we will just because I want to go through the checking procedure with you. Okay, so if we did this correctly, we determined that a senior citizen ticket, our X variable, is equal to $6.90, and a child ticket, our Y variable, was equal to $4.60. So if that's true, then 2 times $6.90 plus 11 times $4.60 should equal $64.40. And 13 times our x variable, which we determined to be $6.90, plus 12 times our y variable, which we determined to be $4.60, should equal $144.90. That's assuming we did it correct. So we're just going to substitute the value of x that we found in for x in both of these equations and substitute the value of y that we found into each of these two equations and check to make sure that the total comes out to be what we show in our equation. So let's do this. 2 times our x variable we found to be 6.9 plus 11 times our uh, y variable which we found to be 4.6 should equal 64.40 and it does so that checks out 
Next, we have 13 times our x variable, which we found to be $6.90, plus 12 times our y variable, which we found to be $4.60, and that should equal 144.90, and it does. So bring this over, and everything checks out. Okay? All right, so we know we did that one right. Okay, we'll move on to another example here. All right, we have another example here. The school that Devin goes to is selling tickets to a fall musical. On the first day of ticket sales, the school sold 18 adult tickets and 7 student tickets for a total of $85.88. The school took in $47.82 on the second day by selling 7 adult tickets and 6 student tickets. Find the price in the, of an adult ticket and a price of a student ticket. Okay, again, we go towards the end and find exactly what this problem is really asking us to find. And it's pretty clear here. The price of an adult ticket and the price of a student ticket. So those are the two things that we're looking for. All right, next thing we need to identify is information that will help us write our equations and set our variables. We, we know what we're going to set our variables for, these two things that we're looking for. So now we need other key information to write the equations. So in this sentence, we've got one equation, all the information we need, 18 adult tickets, um, 7 student tickets, and that was a total of 85.88. So that'll be equation 1. Equation 2 is right here. We've got $47.82 as a total, and we did that by selling 7 adult tickets and 6 student tickets. So this problem is very similar to the previous example that we worked. So let's set up our variables now. We're going to assign our variables. We're following our steps. So we're going to let x equal adult, and we'll let y equal student. Okay, we realize we could have let x equal student and y equals adult. That would have been perfectly fine. The key is that once you pick uh, and assign your variable that you're consistent with it throughout working the problem. That's all that really matters. So we, we could have switched this up and that would have been fine, just as long as we're consistent uh, while we're working the problem. Okay, so the next step, we want to write our two equations. So in this case, we're going to this first sentence to write this first uh, equation. So we've got 18 adult tickets, so that's 18 times our x variable, because we assign that to be an adult ticket, plus 7 times our y variable, we assign that to be student tickets, and that's going to total for a total of $85.88, $85.88. All right, our next equation comes from this so we've got our total right here it's just listed in the beginning of the problem so we'll write that in here where it goes and then we've got seven adult tickets so that would be 7x and we've got six student tickets so that would be 6y okay you just have to be careful uh, because the order that they give you this in may not be the order that you need to write it in so you just have to be careful and watch what you're doing and make sure that you assign the appropriate variable to with the appropriate number here and remember with matrix and this is what we're using on this one as well that's going to be the appropriate method we need to stack our x's our y's and our constants together and x and y must be on the same side again you can watch the matrix video again uh, to clarify that for you alright let's bring our calculator in and we'll go to matrix here over to edit We've already got a 2 by 3, and our matrix is going to be 18, 7, and 85.88. All right, and then the second row will be 7, 6, and $47.82. All right. Whoops. Go back into matrix, over to math now, shortcut, alpha apps, second matrix, enter, enter, and voila, there's our answer set up for us. All right, so this is saying that X is equal to $3.06, so an adult ticket, adult ticket was sold for $3.06. It's important to understand what this means in the problem situation. Um, a student ticket sold for 
student ticket sold for four dollars and forty cents okay all right and if we check this um, substituting these this back into our two equations we would uh, those would check out and uh, we would know that we got the right answer all right so let's move to another example here all right here's our third example and we'll, we'll start moving a little faster through these examples now that we've worked a few um, all right, so first we want to identify key information and assign our variables. So let's read the problem. Jason and Rachel each improved their yards by planting rose bushes and geraniums. They bought their supplies from the same store. Jason spent $127.30 on 17 rose bushes and 10 geraniums. Rachel spent $47.80 on 6 rose bushes and 4 geraniums. Find the cost of one rose bush and the cost of one geranium. All right, so here's our two things that we're looking for. We want the cost. We want the cost of one rose bush and the cost of a geranium. Alright. So let's look. Now we've identified that. Now let's identify the numbers in the uh, from inside the problem that will help us write our two equations. So that's going to be this. Our total that Jason spent was 127.30 and that was on 17 rose bushes and 10 geraniums. Rachel spent a total of 47, let me do this in another color here, uh, 47.80, and that was on six rose bushes and four geraniums, okay? The people here don't, that's not part of the problem. I don't want you to think that uh, somehow you've got an assign, a, assign in a, a variable to one of the stu students' names here or the, the people's names, okay? That's not what you need. The two things that get a variable are identified right here in what you're asked for. The cost of a rose bush, the cost of a geranium. Those are the two things that you need to assign a variable to. So let's do that. All right. Uh, assign the variables. We're on that step. So we'll let, uh, we'll switch it up. We'll have the second one be X this time. Doesn't matter. X equals geranium cost. Geranium cost. Remember, this is the cost. You have to be careful. Not the total number of geraniums. It's the cost of a single geranium. That's what our variable means. Y equals. So we need to be specific. And we'll let Y equal the cost of a rose bush. So rose bush cost. All right. As long as we're consistent with our variables, it's fine that it doesn't matter which one we assign to which. All right. So let's write our equations here. Let's write the what we underlined in blue here first. So uh, we'll have, uh, since we decided to let geraniums be x, we're going to write that one first. So we have 10x, 10 times uh, the geranium cost, plus 17, 17 times the cost of a rose bush, and that's going to equal a total of $127.30. All right. Next write this one in green. Uh, we wanted geraniums and I really wouldn't recommend uh, necessarily doing it uh, in this way as far as how we assign the variables but I just want to show you that it's not going to matter as long as we're consistent. All right, cost of, uh, let's see, total geraniums was four geraniums here so that's four times x plus six times a rose bush cost of which is y, so 6y, is equal to the total in this situation, in this sentence, is $47.80. All right, let's bring in our calculator, put that in matrix, and we'll get our answer. So, edit. Actually, before I do that, I want to um, put brackets in the way I want my students to list this on their paper. I want to list... If they're using their matrix, I want them to list what they put in their matrix. So their entry matrix, their matrix A that they put in their calculator. So that's going to be 10, 17, and 127.30 for this first one. And the second row of their matrix would be 4, 6, and 47.80. All right. So that's the way we're going to put that in our matrix. And I want you to list that on your paper. All right, so we've got 10, whoops, 10 in that first spot. 
Then 17 in the second spot. We're on the top row. 127.30 is next. Whoops. 127.30. Okay. And top row looks good. Let's go to the second row. 4, 6, 47, 80. Okay. Got it all entered. Second, quit. Uh, okay, there we go. Second matrix over to math. Shortcut alpha apps. Second matrix. Enter, enter. There's our answer. Let's paste that in. All right, so I've got both of them in here. So let's circle the one that we had the previous problem in there. So this is the one that we, the printout that we just got for our, our current example. So that would be um, that the x variable geraniums cost six dollars and ten cents and our y variable the rose bushes cost three dollars and ninety cents each all right so let's write that out so geranium cost is equal to six dollars and ten cents okay it doesn't mean we bought six point one geraniums remember we were finding the cost of a geranium, of a single geranium. So that's six dollars and ten cents. It's important that you make sure that you understand what you're looking for. The cost of a rose bush, so rose bush cost is equal to um, our y variable, which is three dollars and ninety cents. Okay, again, that's three dollars and ninety cents. That's the cost of a single rose bush, not three point nine rose bushes. All right. Okay, let's go to our next example here. All right, here we have our final, fourth and final example. So let's read the problem and identify our key information and assign our variables. So that's our step one. Stephen and Tracy are selling fruit for a school fundraiser. Customers can buy small boxes of grapefruit and large boxes of grapefruit. Stephen sold five small boxes of grapefruit and nine large boxes of grapefruit for a total of $125.90. Tracy sold 12 small boxes of grapefruit and 13 large boxes of grapefruit for a total of $215.30. Find the cost each of one small box of grapefruit and one large box of grapefruit. Okay, so pretty straightforward on what we're looking for. Um, we want the cost. We want the cost of a small box of grapefruit and we want the cost of one large box of grapefruit so the cost of each not total a large boxes sold not total small boxes sold that's not what it's asking us for it's asking us for cost so our answers will be in terms of dollars in terms of cost okay all right so let's identify our what how we're going to build our um, equations all right so we're still identifying key information so we've got five small and nine large in that equation and a total. So our total is going to be 125.90. So this is looking like another matrix situation, another standard form, at least for that equation. Let's look at the next one. Um, the next one we have 12 small and 13 large for total. Our total is 215.30. All right. So let's write those equations. So this first one would be, uh, we need to first assign our variable. So let's do that. So we'll let small be set to X. So a small box cost. We need to make sure it's not just the small box, the total number of small boxes of grapefruit sold. It's the cost, okay? And we'll let Y equal the large box cost because that's what the problem's asking us for. All right, so now let's set it up. Uh, the first one, five small, so that's five X plus nine large, so that's nine Y, was a total of $125.90, $125.90. Next equation was uh, Tracy sold 12 small, so that's 12 X plus 13 large, 13 large, equals a total of 215.30. 215.30. All right, so let's draw our matrix 
and the way that we will set this up in our calculator. This is in standard form, x and y on the same side, they are stacked correctly, x, then y, then our constant, with x and y on the same side, and the constant on the other side of the equal sign. So we're all set up for matrix here. So it's pretty simple right now. We've got 5, then 9, then 125, 90. Again, if you're having trouble with matrix, you need to watch the video on how to solve systems using the matrix method. All right, this next row right here will be a 12, a 13, and a 2, 15, 30. Okay, these have all been pretty straightforward because we had all positive values and they lined up very nicely in standard form. We didn't have to rearrange anything. All right, so there's our matrix. So let's pull our calculator up here and we'll clear that out and go into matrix. Over to edit. That's always our first step. Enter. We've got a 2 by 3 matrix. We need 5, 9, and 125, 90 in that first row. Done. Okay, 5, 9, 125, 90. It looks good. Next row is 12, then 13, then 2, 15, 30. So 12, 13, and then 2, 15, 30. All right. Second, quit to get out. Second, matrix, over to math now, shortcut, alpha, apps, second, matrix, all right, enter twice, and there's our answer, paste that in over here so we can work with it, and let's see, we have, what, what our printout is telling us here is that x is equal to 7, and that y is equal to 10 dollars ten dollars and ten cents so that means that X is a small box cost so the small box costs seven dollars the large box of grapefruit costs ten dollars and ten cents so there's our answer so small box cost equals seven dollars okay there's no decimals there so it's just seven dollars okay large box of grapefruit will cost ten dollars and ten cents all right so that's a wrap for this video i hope it's helped make sure and subscribe to the youtube channel post comments ask questions i'm here to help see you in the next video